an astonishing disclosure made by the James Webb Telescope. City lights in space tracked down 7 trillion miles from Earth. This significant finding has sparked interest in the chance of extraterrestrial life. The telescope focused on Proxima Centauri b, the closest exoplanet to Earth, uncovering surprising brilliant lights radiating from it. What could be the justification for these city lights on Proxima Centauri b? Could this ever demonstrate the presence of life past our planet? Join us as we dive into how the James Webb Telescope recognized these wonderful objects in space. For quite a long time, researchers and the public have speculated about existence past our nearby planetary local area. Any proof suggesting life has been enthusiastically welcomed. As of late, the scientific local area was stunned when solid proof of living things was seen by the James Webb Space Telescope while investigating space and detailing pivotal information back to Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope noticed peculiar city lights sparkling from the exoplanet Proxima Centauri b. These lights were exactly as its name suggested, lights resembling those illuminating a distant city. The probability of an alien city existing on the star has left researchers confused and astounded, as it seems like the presence they've all been waiting for. If this ends up being true, as everybody believes it will, it truly means that there are intelligent living creatures building civilizations new to what people know in space, and we're just discovering it. Investigating the city lights that are found 7 trillion miles from Earth, NASA engineers can't resist the urge to think about how long these lights have been available in space, trusting that people will develop the vital innovation to identify them. David Kipping, a cosmologist from Columbia University, describes the Proxima Centauri b exoplanet where the city lights were found as fascinating. He said so much since the star system nearest to us has varied heating patterns that aren't similar to other planets. The common rocky planets are known to absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation. Not so for this exoplanet, as its infrared nature is altogether different from that of its host star, named Proxima Centauri. This requires a good observational eye by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the telescope proved to be useful as the right instrument for the gig. The JWST can actually recognize infrared frequencies, the specific force mark of Proxima b will assume a critical part in revealing the universal secrets of its air. And that will be done thanks to the latest technology of infrared imaging abilities advanced by the JWST. Researchers expect to utilize the telescope to disclose the environmental factors of this planet at air levels. They additionally plan to utilize the Webb telescope to survey the possibilities of life on this exoplanet. The James Webb Telescope has an infrared awareness that is ready to investigate what occurs on Proxima Centauri b's nighttime. Getting the slightest light emissions in the huge murkiness is generally a battle for space telescopes, but not for the JWST, as it can detect even the smallest light emissions. Light from space. It's the perfect tool to check if the reports about city lights on Proxima b's night side are valid or not. Not every artificial light in the universe can be distinguished by the telescope as long as it falls inside a frequency band that is multiple times smaller than the starlight. Proxima b has an intriguing connection between its heavenly elements and surface connections. The day side of the exoplanet contains various solar chargers that outfit the burning solar-based energy granted by the star. Its spectra edge likewise reflects incoming light beams. In the meantime, when Proxima b finishes its circle around its host star, Proxima Centauri, it encounters day and evening stretches, like what we have on Earth, with the daytime getting high on solar-based heat and the nighttime experiencing coolness. The planet is known to have temperature variants dictated by its structure. For instance, assuming there's no climate on Proxima b, the difference between its day and nighttime stretches will be wide and far between, assuming there's no directing impact of barometrical gases and seas. The temperature of the day side will be searing hot like a black body, and the nighttime will dive into cold darkness. The level of temperature variety is a decent theme for cosmologists to unwind a more profound understanding of Proxima's air composition. Having an unrivaled infrared imaging capacity, the JWST can actually analyze the planet's warm discharges to give wise information about its environmental properties. Interestingly. The circle of the James Webb Telescope around the Earth lines up with Proxima b's orbital period, giving total perceptions of its 24-hour cycles inside 11.2 Earth days. Since it for sure has an environment, 
the resulting step will be to assess its environmental science to decide whether it can uphold life. A few decent pointers in deciding assuming there's life are the presence of gases like oxygen, water vapor, and methane. If these elements can be seen in the world, it implies that it upholds tenable circumstances. The interaction of precisely determining this expects researchers to be careful enough as they catch and examine light beams that travel through the planet's environment. This is an extremely difficult task to undertake, even though the JWST has incredible abilities for characterizing planetary climates. It has an alternate essential objective. The telescope has been programmed to just investigate the varieties in water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane fixation. When it comes to identifying enhanced oxygen, which is a critical indication of something going on under the surface, the JWST is restricted in this space. All things being equal, the telescope still has critical motivations to look for different elements in the world like ozone, which offers a precise proportion of importance in the environment. It's moreover significant that the James Webb Space Telescope doesn't have outright capacities, and it can't peer at a couple of the closest tenable universes to Earth. Conducting an exhaustive air assessment, space experts are presently leaning toward ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT. The ELT is a telescope that has been scheduled to begin operating in 2028, and it's carefully positioned to look further into the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets. It'll provide data on these planets that will offer exhaustive and clear insights into their level of livability. NASA researchers and everybody are eagerly anticipating the sending of future space telescopes like these. Up to that point, however, the James Webb Space Telescope remains a significant apparatus in our journey to uncover the secrets of far-off exoplanets. Even with its ongoing restrictions, the Webb Telescope can potentially offer significant insights that will disrupt how we interpret exoplanetary investigation now and in the future. Researchers have an objective for future space telescopes, and that is to reduce how much brilliant light coming from a planet's host star so cosmologists can more likely see the lights reflected from a planet itself. They intend to do this by utilizing internal shades or large external sunshades that are shaped like an umbrella, using your hand to shut out beams of the sun to enable you to see an object clearer, reducing the wild brilliance coming from the host star. Future telescopes will be better positioned to zero in on faint reflections of light coming from a far-off exoplanet allowing for clear examination of its air and likelihood of supporting life. Doing this comes with its own challenges. However, researchers must recognize gases produced from life and those from geological cycles like volcanic activity. Stargazers aren't abandoning understanding the attributes of exoplanets, so they're more prepared to distinguish indications of something going on under the surface and recognize them from false positives. The Webb Telescope exemplifies a brief look at scientific advancements from the investigation of exoplanets, offering a slip look into the astounding disclosures we're yet to find. As we stretch our comprehension and investigation of the universe farther and farther, we're better situated to comprehend the mind-boggling activities of the universe and our different roles in it. In the wake of scouring every one of the planets in space, Researchers presently can't seem to track down anybody that has life in spite of many years of looking through space for indications of something going on under the surface. The journey for types of life on other planets continues. Are we alone in the universe? For a really long time throughout human civilizations, people have consistently contemplated whether they are the only ones in the universe. This is a deep-rooted yearning that hasn't left us even at this point. Researchers have the James Webb Telescope in space, attempting to recognize outsider civilizations tucked away among us while zeroing in on a wide range of planetary bodies for indications of something going on under the surface. At the same time, a well-known story has spread in recent years that some aliens are really something else in the stars, simply waiting for people to find them. To give an answer to this question, two American space experts, Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson, began a task called Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence in 1984, known as the SETI organization. It is a magnanimous undertaking that plans to sift through galactic signals to just catch. Radio transmissions from space. The justification behind zeroing in on radio transmissions is a result of their capacity to travel significant distances without getting scattered or retained like other sorts of radiation. Because of this trademark, radio transmissions are bound to be recognized by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the Allen Telescope Array found in the foothills of California. 
However, the SETI organization has rigorously taken note signs of these radio transmissions made by extraterrestrial life. There haven't been any such signals for more than 30 years. Jill Tarter is invigorated that they'll have a positive result as they need to use the instruments of the 21st century to accelerate the chase. In the articulations of Jill, I wish that you would empower Earthlings everywhere to become active participants in the ultimate mission for extraterrestrial association. All of that continued until late reports from NASA suggested that the James Webb Space Telescope spotted city lights from a planet near Earth. The JWST is the giant secret weapon played by people in understanding the universe. It's presently the most advanced instrument in all of humankind to reveal every one of the secrets of the universe. The telescope is at present drifting around one million miles from Earth, sending exact insights concerning the earliest seasons of the universe. It's expected to catch the previously unobtrusive insights regarding space as it delivers greater clarity on the development of space, universes, planets, and stars alike. Cosmologists haven't failed to gain by the JWST's state-of-the-art advancements. For instance, its radiant camera element and filters to detect and analyze the delicate tones that surround heavenly objects. Specialists are available to utilizing the telescope to gather data about the real properties and chemical compositions of celestial bodies found far away in the universe. This was achieved by isolating specific frequencies of light. A long ways beyond just observing, the Webb telescope continually examines the environment of exoplanets for faint traces of life, paying little mind to how small. It has an unparalleled ability to investigate the presence of life and has revealed some of the most interesting discoveries ever. One such is the discovery of something different in mass than what was previously believed to have existed in the universe. This mass has been covered in several giant systems, truly casting doubt about the earliest format and extensiveness of the universe. Humanity has since decided to explore the farthest spreads of the boundless plane using the JWST as an imperative tool for achieving this. Through the telescope, new information on distant universes will be documented, and more astrophysical data will be available, ready to address the mysteries of these planets. Years back, the vast space outside our local planetary group wasn't explored. Since that time, however, Cosmologists have identified north of 4,000 exoplanets that circle distant stars, showing just how far human creativity can go. Still, these discoveries are seen by NASA as touching the tip of the cosmic iceberg. Scientists are of the opinion that, in reality, there are trillions of exoplanets littered all around the universe that haven't been found. However, not surrendering, over time, scientists are still exploring space with at least some hope of fishing out alien environments where humans haven't ventured. They've had promising signs during this mission. Every now and then, when Galileo jumped on a bus going to Jupiter, its spectroscopic instrument accidentally revealed an interesting spectral signature that lent belief to extraterrestrial vegetation. This was the initial time scientists found a profile that indicated the presence of life in the universe. This biomarker was the vegetation red edge known as VRE. The VRE pursues extraterrestrial life distinctively by giving close attention to the way it reflects light. With the assistance of the VRE, the James Webb Space Telescope is expected to uncover the mysteries of extraterrestrial conditions through the careful examination of orbital limits of potentially habitable planets resident in the habitable zones of their alien parent stars. Once these are identified, the VRE can provide pivotal evidence in the mission for intelligent living things outside Earth, opening another journey in revealing the secrets of the universe. When sunlight goes through the atmospheric layers, the scattered light, which carries with it different frequencies, gets absorbed by the particles and molecules found in these layers. As the absorption continues, a distinct spectral pattern that is connected to specific fingerprints is formed that can be deciphered through spectroscopic analysis. It's a common theory that when light from stars reaches a planet, the Webb telescope will be able to recognize it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. This data suggests that the JWST could be the missing link to revealing the environmental composition of these planets that are the size of Earth and contain atmospheres that are rich in carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and oxygen. However, these types of planets might be able to support life. The lack of unique compounds could highlight alternative forms of life and mechanical advancements. Compounds like chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, 
known as man-made chemicals used for refrigeration and other industrial purposes, could help scientists in proving the presence of extraterrestrial development. Truly, if the JWST observes such artificial particles in the atmosphere of exoplanets, it'll be an obvious evidence of extraterrestrial activity beyond our local planetary group. This opens up a new window for endless researchers to examine the environmental compositions of other worlds and the slim likelihood of alien civilizations. Beyond and past the smooth way, life away from Earth is characterized by millions of possibilities that transcend the limitations of organic.